Hello, fellow travelers. My name is Luca Fiore. I'm Ben Walker. I'm Arturo Brzezindi. I am Craig Connolly. And we are driving home after watching... How do you like them potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> you thought about that in the theater? I did, I had a little bit. So The Martian stars Matt Damon and some other people. This is a four act movie, not, not your regular three act. There was the initial part where he's stranded on the planet and then the next part where he has to survive, and then the next part where he has to communicate with Earth, and then the last part being getting home. What did everybody think of this movie? This wasn't Apollo 13, and it was not Cast Away. I could feel those movies. I couldn't feel this movie. I felt like it was flat. They weren't very emotive in their performances. Jeff Daniels' character, I hated that guy. He was playing the same character in Newsroom. Whatever happened to characters playing people that they're, they're not comfortable playing. This is supposed to be based on like real people. Real people don't act like movie characters. They're at work. That's true. I'm at work being a director of NASA. I'm not gonna be like, the eccentric director of NASA who has a, who has a secret. <laughs> yes, he's realistic. He didn't have any charisma and he had no arc. There was so much that really bothered me. All the drama it got so slow and it was so predictable. The scary moments weren't as scary as they should have been and the, the sad moments weren't as sad as they could have been and the funny moments weren't as funny as they could have been. I wanted one guy to just like accidentally take his helmet off and his head explode. <laughs> I kind of felt like this was very science driven, more so than Apollo 13. For that reason, maybe that was kind of reflective of you know how it was. Everybody is trying to logically work things out. Everything Matt Damon is doing is like seemingly mathematical. How much MacGyver can you actually jam pack into a movie and not get sick of it? Like, like holy fuck, they figured it out again? They figured it out again. I know. It's, it's a just... perfect storm of, of, of solution. I want to talk about uh, a little bit of VFX. Specifically, I want to talk about the wire work. The zero gravity scenes in gravity are incredible and they feel like no other movie that you've ever seen before. And this didn't feel like that. When that is your plateau, if you're making a movie at that, you gotta kind of meet it. It's true, when Jessica, Ch Jessica Chastain was uh, floating through there, you know, I, I heard her f farts propelling her. <laughs> <laughs> How they do it. And, and, That's how they do it. That's how the, the space is. Made. And I didn't hear those farts when it was Sandra Bullock in Gravity. I hate product placement. I really hate so it. So much GoPro in all, this movie. All GoPro, but Cisco. even the Cisco and then Cisco. the CNN. What did you guys feel about his video cam diary stuff? I liked it. Yeah, I mean, it tells I, the story. Plus, it was a logical way for him to talk to himself. I'm A, keeping a diary, plus it's actually, you know, keeping me sane. But then you have to bit. wonder, like, you know, how much disk space does he actually have up there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, how many, uh, how many potatoes out of 10? And four. Whoa. Four out of 10? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. So, four potatoes. Wow, Arturo. Wow, I was, I mean, I feel, uh, I, I, I say seven and a half. How many potatoes, Ben? I, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Craig. I'm gonna go with- Four out of 10, guys! Yeah, you, yeah. Guys, you gave nine out of 10 yeah. for a bet. I know, I, this I, I, I didn't need to see that movie. Oh, wow. That's harsh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Seven. It's a B. <laughs> Act two is so interesting to me that I can't give a movie like that a four or a six, even like a D mark, you know? Act two was just so fun and like cool to me that, you know, I couldn't give something like that a D. I don't know, if you spend that much money on a movie, you better do it right. So that's uh, it for this week. Uh, we've got other videos, check them out. If you want to ride with us and you live in Ottawa, also track us down because chances are you can come into the car, no problem. Thanks, Arturo, for coming along. Thanks, yeah. Arturo. Thanks, Arturo. No problem. Yeah, thanks really for appreciate me. it. And thanks for driving, Luca. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Ben, thanks for wearing such a nice shirt. I changed my shirt for you yeah. guys. Thanks. It's a nice shirt. <clears throat> All right, guys. Peace. <laughs>